Hey there anime fans, my name is Sui, and today we'll be watching Jojo episode 8 and Jojo episode 9 of Phantom Blood today. And like always, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and we'll jump right into it. Right, just a quick recap. Last episode, we discovered that Dio has kidnapped Irina, and Irina is in Dio's hands, so... From my guess, knowing Dio, he's probably going to be the prick that he always is, and he's probably going to be an asshole. He's probably going to threaten Jojo with Aaron while he fights him, because why wouldn't he? Link. One, one thing, I'm glad Dio kicked that annoying piece of... Creature creation mixture hybrid. I don't know. They're creepy and I don't like them. They make me feel uncomfortable. And I'm glad Dio got rid of them because I mean Dio still looks kind of human. So I don't mind Dio that much. I'm not gonna judge Dio by his appearances. Dio honestly looks kind of good. Dio says he will not force somebody into a relationship. That is a hypocritical thing to say. Hypocritic hypocritical thing. I, I don't know how to pronounce it. Hypocritical thing to say for Dio because what did he do on the first episode? He forcefully kissed Irina. Yeah, she's not going to believe you, Dio. Give up. Okay, so uh, let me point out one thing. Dio is a vampire. Superhuman strength. I bet super high defense too. Erina, weak girl. The stereotypical middle ages weak girl. Managed to damage a vampire. Gosh, how heavy was that slap? That thing mustn't have hit like a truck. Because to make a vampire bleed, especially this Dio vampire bleed, imagine if she had some training with like Hamu or something. She can end Dio right there. Erina is potentially the strongest character in this series. It's Jonathan! Okay, so I genuinely am not surprised to see these weird creepy zombies anymore. There, there's a hair zombie, a buff zombie, a freaking Dio freezing eyes zombie, and then there's a, what you call it, uh, yeah. And now there's snake zombies, and there, yeah, there was a blaze zombie in the very beginning, wasn't there. Now there's like monkey zombies, bird zombies. I'm genuinely not surprised to see a snake zombie with the head filled with snakes. And also, I would also like to point out, God, Jojo's face. How strong is his like face muscles to like to to have to have so much strength while squeezing his own freaking face to to squeeze the venom out? Like, oh my gosh, his 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 face can probably like bench uh, dumbbells. Like, no problem. And also, I, I feel like Jonathan is getting so cold now. Like, all of his fights is just like, two moves, two moves, you're dead, two moves, you're dead. It's like he does not mess around anymore. And I, and I like that, I like that. I don't like, I don't really like the laid back, chill. Jonathan all that much taking taking damage all the time. I I, I like the more aggressive version of him. It, it makes him seems like the actual main character.
Here goes the fated battle between two rivals. Brotherly rivals? I guess you can still call them brothers even though they hate each other to their guts. Well, this is gonna be exciting. What was his name again? Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Oh my. <laughs> Wasn't this attack supposed to be unblockable and no fighter has ever escaped this attack before? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I, it isn't, isn't. I, I think, I think I've seen this. I think, I think I've seen this meme. Isn't this a JoJo meme, right? Uh, where, uh, oh my god, he didn't accomplish shit there. He is, he did nothing. What was the point? What was even the point of killing this guy off? Like, dude, does he have any importance to the story? Because, like, I'm sure attacking him head on is, is not a good idea. Oh, that's a good first step. Chop off his arm, then chop off his other arm, then chop off his head. Get rid of him. Easy. Easy. That's right. Go for the head. This almost looks too easy. Apart. Yo, can, can can Dio shoot freaking laser beams from his eyes? Oh my god, what can't Dio do? He can do everything. Ah, oh, Jojo, you don't need to cry for Dio. He's, he's everything bad that has happened to your life. You should not cry for Dio. You know, Jojo's heart is just way too big. I, I, love, I love this man. <sighs> wow. Episode 8. That was a genuinely a pretty nice ending. Jonathan still had his overly gentlemanly thoughts, feels. He still cried over his dead brother. I got I got to respect his um personality. Like he stayed true to his core. He's still overall a gentleman, kind of, uh, besides killing the vampire thing, but like, wow, like, I mean, that was a uh, short fight, like, I, I was genuinely surprised, like, JoJo series goes by so fast, like, I've never watched any other anime with such a fast, like, going plotline, and, and it seems like, uh, yeah, I don't know. Episode 8 was nice. Okay, here is episode 9. Let's jump right into it. No. Dio didn't die? That's not good. Oh, they have a daughter already? How many years has this been?
That sounds like Dio. Dio's in there. I know it. Dio has to be in there. So that, so earlier that guy, that shorty monkey dude looking weird Asian guy, I think he said, uh, I'm going to get a new body. Is Dio going to be taking over, like, somebody's body, like, on the ship? Like, I, I don't know. Is, is he, is he going after Jonathan's body? Because, uh, I mean, who, who, who else would, uh, would D Dio take over at this point? I mean, Jonathan has, like, the most buffest body on the... But, oh, I mean, this is bad. This is really bad. You do not want a decapitated vampire thingy coming to your ship on your honeymoon, of all things. That's not good. It's not good at all. Anything to do with vampires is not good in this show. Yeah, I see them good. I hope Jonathan ends Dio for good now, because Dio needs to freaking go <laughs> finally jojo's body caught up to him he deserves it he deserves getting his head head on the freaking for being so tall <sighs> as a shorty i feel a lot better Okay, I, I like I like how Dio's ex is acknowledging the fact that uh, he's res he respects uh, Jojo uh, and like all the respectful aspects of Jojo and uh, I'll, I'll I'll say Dio is a little bit better on my ladder, but I still freaking hate him. He needs to die. Okay, well, um, I, I like how the fact that Dio is, like, respecting Jojo on a certain level, but, I mean, like, come on, man. Why? Well, why do you have to go after Jonathan's body when you could have gotten anybody's body? You could just, like, you know, secretly build up your body again, I guess. I mean, nothing wrong with retraining yourself. I mean, I guess his ego is, uh, beyond... I mean, his pride is probably beyond himself right now. No! It went right through his neck! Bro, no. I, I hope it did not, like, puncture any arteries, because that will be bad. No, Jonathan can't breathe. How 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 is he still conscious? Oh, okay. So, I mean, I I mean, I I, I go die, Dio. I hate you for puncturing. For puncturing Jojo's freaking neck, but like, um, well, like, I mean, wow, he he still respects Jojo on a surprisingly high level. He's he's not even willing to let uh this guy insult him, and I mean, I I don't want to respect Dio, but I mean, I have to respect Dio to some point, right? Like, wow. Broke! What else could be broken? His neck? Artery? I don't know. Oh my god. I, uh... No. Oh my god. No. Bro, I 
Can't he heal up with this homo? Like, come on, what, what didn't Zapelli heal him up with homo or something? Come on. He's gonna die, ain't he? There's no way he can live through a freaking punctured neck. Barely nine episodes. Go away, Dio. We don't need you right now. Gosh damn it. I need to go pee. Fuck. Fuck you, show. You know what? Fuck this show. It's only fucking nine episodes. Barely even know JoJo yet. This is stupid. So freaking stupid. Oh my god. That had to be the... That had to end JoJo like... God, Jojo can Jojo's not even breathing right now, and he, he's still protecting Arena. <laughs> Fuck this. Dude, Jojo just doesn't. Jojo just doesn't like give up at all. Like, fuck this show.
He freaking died hugging. Damn. Oh my god. Fuck this show. How many times do you need to make me cry? Yo, why, why, why can't these, why, why can't this store just give Jonathan Joestar, like, a good life? Like, doesn't he deserve it? Like, he was bullied by Dio growing up. He lost his dog. He lost his first, well, not lost his first, he, he lost his girlfriend for a good while. He lost his dad. He lost his house. He had to fight against freaking blood-sucking vampire monster thing. He fought against a freaking vampire lord, and now he has to get, like, blown to oblivion on his freaking honeymoon. Like, fuck you, Dio. Just, fuck you. Why? Why did they kill off the main character on episode 9? And how did this freaking anime make me so attached to a freaking character in 9 freaking episodes? I hate this. I hate this series. It's too good. I hate Dio. Dio's finally dead though. Fuck that shit. <sighs> Making me cry so many times in a freaking episode. You know what? Fuck this. I'm done with this episode. <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna go to sleep after this. Oh, well, I mean. I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. Give a like, comment, subscribe. See you in the next episode.